The mind of the great sage of India flowed unseen from west to east and kept true to the source, a clear stream unsullied. By variables of wit and dullness, the true way has no patriarch of south or north. Born, we clutch at things and later compound our delusion by following ideals. Each sense gate and its object, dependence and non-dependence, entering together into mutual relations, and yet standing apart in their own uniqueness. Component things differing deeply in form and feel. The voices, soft and harsh in inherent isolation. High and middle are words matching the darkness. And light separates the murky phrase from the pure. The characteristics of the four elements draw together, like a child returning to its mother. The heat of the fire, the moving wind, the water wet. and the solid earth. Eyes to see. Sounds to hear. And smells. The sour and salty taste on the tongue. But in each related thing, as leaves grow from roots, end and beginning return to the source. High and low are used respectively. Within light, there is darkness, but you cannot explain it by one-sided darkness alone. Within darkness there is light, but you cannot understand it only by one-sided light. Light and darkness go with each other like the sequence of steps in walking. All things have inherent potentiality. Both function and rest reside within. With the actual comes the ideal like a box and its lid. With the ideal comes the actual, like two arrows meeting in mid-air.
understand the basic truth from these words and do not set up your own standards. In sense experience, if you do not know the basic truth, how can you find the right path, no matter how much you walk? As you walk further, the distinction between near and far disappears. And if you become lost, obstructing mountains and rivers arise. This I offer to the seekers of truth. Waste no time.